Hello and welcome to Graceful Gazelle Gaming. I'm your host, The Gazelle, and today we're going to be playing some Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And we're going to actually be doing the Eventide Island Shrine Quest, which I haven't actually done yet, despite the fact it's considered one of the best things in the game. I did attempt it, like, a, once about a month ago, and I died, and I got transported back to before the quest because of when I last time I saved. So I just kind of, like, didn't go back to it because I went and did some other things, because Breath of the Wild is a game where... You mean to go do something and you end up wandering around for like 15 hours instead. So, I'm pretty excited to be doing the Eventide quest. I'm up here looking down at Eventide Island up from uh, the cliff at the Cheshaw Jeem Shine Shrine, I think. If I remember correctly, that's, that's the correct shrine. So we're going to be heading down there in just a second. I went and did a bunch of cooking so I'd have like a bunch of uh, endurance and stamina so I could glide all the way there instead of falling miserably to my death like what happened last time I tried to do this. So I'm just gonna eat a bunch of Endura Shrooms first to give myself some extra space. Oh, it only works if I eat one. Oh, oh no, okay, it worked. I see what happens, so I'll just have to wait till next time and I have some energizing Shrooms. See, I, the more you know. So I'm about to start gliding down there. I'm about to lose all my stuff. All my precious royal items that I've taken from the castle. Oh no. They're precious. What else am I going to lose? I mean, there's some things I don't want. I'm going to lose all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. I'm going to lose it all. Until I win it back by beating the island. So I think it's time to go do that. Look at all these precious gems. I can't afford to lose this. I got topaz and rubies and... Rubies? Rubies. Okay, this is not... Maybe I'll even throw that clip in there. That could be fun. Oh, the CDI games. Truly, truly wonderful, wonderful things. Opal, that's that's my birthstone, yo. I'm an opal. Yeah. Bias. So I'm about to, uh, wait, where am I Topaz? I can't remember. I think I'm opal. November's opal, right, people? If any of you want to check, just check and post it in the comments below if I don't Google it sometime. <laughs> so I'm about to get a running jump start on this cliff, and I'm going to glide down to Eventide Island and not run out of stamina. I think I might have messed up. This should be interesting. I maybe should have given myself Revali's. Maybe should have. Maybe I should have used Revali's Gale to try and give myself a height boost before attempting this. Either way, if I land in the water, I still should be able to swim there. So that's a positive. So far, my stamina is holding up, and I'm getting fairly close to the island. I think this was a decent idea. That kind of looks like the beetle from Skyward Sword. Now that I look at the thing from the top. Glider from the top. I definitely had less stamina last time I tried to do this, so. I might actually make it. Color me surprised. I thought I might end up dying and having to retry this. Come on, Link. I know you can do it. Maybe I should have tried throwing a couple items onto the island first before landing on it to see if that would work. I mean, it probably wouldn't. It probably just erased them anyways, but it would have been worth a shot. Almost there. With the Endura, I should definitely make it. And drop in now. <laughs> to you who has traveled to this island. I present you with a challenge. In your travels, you've relied on the equipment you found along your way along the way. Here, you must cast this equipment aside and face this trial with only your wits and whatever you can scavenge. And... Offer up the orbs to the three altars on this island. Only then will I acknowledge your skill and return your items. And I am now stranded on the island with nothing but my underwear and... Wait, I do need to find a weapon. And quickly. Oh boy, this is too bad. And I'm... I'm not doing too hot right now. I need to get something. They're sleeping. I need to grab a spear before they wake up. Yes, I have a spear. This is a start. Come at me, boys. Okay. Okay. Just got out and moving these fools. Oh! Okay. That went bad. I forgot what it's like to not have armor. I could have just tried bashing over the head of the rock while they were sleeping. That probably would have been my better plan. And my spear's almost down. I picked up the broadsword and the rest of the shield at some point. Okay, 
through that bro. Rusty broadsword. I'll get the shield out. Okay. Let's do this. And hit. Ah, oh, I miss. I'll fight you in the shallows. Didn't that torch be going out? I'm gonna. Oh, I was gonna pick it up and throw it in the water, but then I, then I should have realized. Okay. So let's figure out where all these things are. So, eh. <laughs> so that's an altar right there, out in uh, out on there. Oh, it's gonna be fun trying to get something over there without getting it in the water. Okay, got a crab. So far, this island is fairly. We made it through. We've defeated our first round of goblins. We still have no clothing. But it's worse, and I was in the game. I should not have done that. So, get some choo choo jelly. Avoid the flames. We're gonna get through the woods here and hopefully find some clothing. Wait, I think there was a. Uh, I think there was a uh, chest back here and a box. Let's see what I can find in this stuff. I just want to find a pair of pants, to be real. A pair of pants would be awesome right now. Like, legit amazing. I got a better sword. Uh, do I have anything that I can use to bust these crates open? Do a magnesis. Throw them against the ground until they break. Eventually they'll. Or I can use these to take on the highlands. Actually, I have a really, really bad idea. It's going to involve sneaking way too close to the Hinox in the middle of the aisle. That I remember from the last time I played. So I'm going to. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take you down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Down for the count. Oh, okay. Now that I got through that, I need to figure out my exact plan of action. As long as I defeat the enemies quickly enough, I won't have to worry about them for the rest of this time. That's the hind next I'm gonna have to take care of. He's gonna be a real problem because he's way too big for someone of my caliber with no good armor. There is a raft. I guess I could theoretically get off the island if I wanted to, but I'm not leaving without my stuff. But I mean, I guess you could use this almost as a way to reset the game if you wanted to. Oh, and I was lucky enough to be far away. <laughs> so, I still got the broadsword. I'm probably just gonna throw it at some fool. Let's see what I got to have to deal with up here. I have an idea. Oh. I need I need help in this decision. And I did get him. I hit something different. Okay, I still have this sword. Oh, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oh, ow. I am getting my butt beat right now. Come at me. I will take you out, son. He's down, and now I have a free branch. Oh, oh boy, I am not in good health. Pick up, pick up the spear. Pick up the spear and take him down. Take you out, and go back. Poke you in the side, poke you in the side, poke you in the side. And the focus spears down. Uh, short pop it. Spear, rusty shield. I'll go back to the spear. I'm gonna take these guys out slowly. Okay, they're all down. I got this. Okay. I'm barely alive, and I don't have any food. Aha! But I do have a steak. I have a seared steak. That'll get me, like, jack crap. Okay. 
I gotta figure. He's got one of the balls around his neck. I'm just gonna keep scouting this island out. I think another one of them's up there in those ruins. I know there's a group of goblins with one over there in a little, like, tent area. So I think for now, after defeating the goblins at the top of this hill in my first episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Island Survival, that's what I'm going to call this, I have uh, cleared the first, this little campsite here, and I'm going to figure out a setup here, find a way to heal, and uh, figure some good stuff out, man. Uh, so everyone, have a great day till you get the next episode, and uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and keep on playing that Nintendo.